To figure out whether MgCl2, this is magnesium chloride, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's in water, we'll use these rules here. So the first thing that we need to know is the strength of these substances here. Magnesium hydroxide, that's a base. Hydrochloric acid, that's an acid. When they come together, they neutralize. You get this MgCl2, a salt, and water. So let's take a look at this table here. And this gives us a list of strong acids, strong bases, weak acids, and weak bases. Magnesium hydroxide, that's not on our list. In general, it's considered to be a strong base, although it really doesn't dissolve too much. So we're going to consider it a strong base here. Hydrochloric acid, that is certainly, that's a strong acid. So let's write a strong acid here. So we're considering this to be a strong base, hydrochloric acid, a strong acid. So we look at our rules. We have this MgCl2, it's a salt of strong bases and strong acids. We expect that our pH will remain neutral at seven. So we think that MgCl2 will be neutral in water. So that's one way to look at this. Let's take a look at it, what happens if we consider this a weak base. So let me clean this up. So if we say this is a weak base here and that this is a strong acid, so we have a weak base and a strong acid. When those react in a neutralization reaction, we would get a pH less than seven and it would be acetic. So this is a little bit of a tricky one. Some people consider this to be a strong base. Others consider it to be a weak base. What we'd like to do is do an experiment where we test this and we see whether it's acetic or basic. I think that you would probably end up finding it slightly acetic. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.